<laughs> Question number two. Does God ever choose not to heal? No. So the brush stroke of God's redemption was to wipe out the root of sin, the root of illness, and the root of poverty. Amen. So um, does he choose not to heal? No, he chose to do it a long time ago. What was Paul's thorn in the flesh? I don't know. Must have been annoying. I don't know. I, I, I have an opinion, but I don't think it was sickness. I refuse to create a theology that allows for sickness. Now here we got a problem. Only one. It's a small one. The Apostle Paul gives a warning in Galatians, and he says this. He says, if I, and he's the one who brought the gospel to them, he said, if I, or even an angel, comes to you and preaches to you a different gospel, you're to reject it. Paul refers to his thorn in the flesh, which has been interpreted by many as disease allowed or brought on by God. That's a different gospel. When you walk sensitive to the Holy Spirit, you don't want to grieve, you don't want to quench. You're, you're in that, you know, you okay. walk in that road in a relationship with him. I could tell that if I prayed for healing, it would grieve him. Mm. In a relationship with him, I could tell that if I prayed for healing, it would grieve him. Mm. I remember praying for this lady. I was uh, visiting, as it was a mother of one of our staff members. And, uh, and I was in, she had been sick for a while. And as I was praying for her, I could tell she's supposed to go home. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to go home. That's an awkward. That's an awkward moment. It, it, it's not as a pastor because we're in those situations yeah. Yeah. often. But to to pray for that is is a bit awkward for me. I mean, I, I don't have the impartation of death, you know. Yes, to, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but to pray, Father, I, I I just pray that you just fill her with peace yeah. and that and that. In your perfect timing, you would take her home. She went home within, I think, two hours. Wow. I refuse to create a theology that allows for sickness. Does God ever choose not to heal? No. That's a different gospel. In a relationship with him, I could tell that if I prayed for healing, it would grieve him. Mm. That if I prayed for healing, it would grieve him. Mm. Healing would grieve him. Mm. Healing would grieve him. Mm. Healing would grieve him. 